Okay, so quick update on the tracker. Huh. Just kidding. The tracker. So this is where we left off. The last time, um, the last, if you watched the last video, I built this, which is uh, four threaded rods welded to two pieces of rebar. Then the plywood template. I used two bags of concrete and a 10 inch sauna tube, two feet long, and uh, created the mounting point for that pole, which is now in place. The pole is now standing in its permanent home. And it does track the sun. Obviously, I haven't put panels on it yet. I'd like to let the concrete harden a little bit more before I uh, put the weight on it. But it does have the, the sensor on it so that it should be able to track. It does, however, seem to track a little too far south and a little too far west, so I probably have to, actually, it's a lot too far south. Uh, I'll probably have to uh, manipulate that sensor a little bit. Whole thing's powered from a 12 volt lead acid battery, which is charged with an MPPT uh, charge controller that's in the little battery housing with the battery and then uh, fed by 75 watt panels that are on the roof, uh, set on four tires right now, but I'll make something more permanent eventually. You can see, if you look close, it's hard to see uh, with the lighting, but it's counting down from 10, and when it gets to zero, it makes its adjustment. Here it click and it you know didn't have very far to move that time but if it did it would have you'd, you'd have heard the motor run a little so you can take it out of its uh, automatic mode where it's tracking the Sun and put it into manual mode with the little remote it's actually an infrared remote so you have to be standing right next to it just an east-west and a north-south button on it and then a set and a quit button. Uh, I got no instructions with this thing and then when I was emailed the instructions uh, they were for a different So hitting the quit button We'll put it back into its automatic mode and it will go back to tracking the sun. So it's working. Uh, it does seem to go a little too far south and a little too far west. It actually seems to go quite a bit too far south. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for a couple more days to let the concrete harden before I put the panels on it. Hopefully by the time I get the panels on it, I'll have adjusted the sensor so that the tracking is a little bit more accurate. 